Hello, Parrot Bebop. It's been a pleasure uh, getting to know you better, and and your performance throughout the past uh, few weeks has been has been quite excellent. So I wanted to, uh, and if you don't mind, could you take your uh, could you take your glasses off, please? Sure. Okay, that's better. Thank you. So before we get started, I wanted to explain the uh, the scale here. Now we're on a scale of one to ten. Now I don't give tens because tens are uh, they're there just so the scale sounds cool. Uh, probably about the best you'll get in any category is an eight, and and that's just to uh, to make it seem like you should continue to uh, to strive for even more and perform perform even better, even though you won't get that ten. So, uh, with that being said, do you have any questions before we start this performance review? No, I don't. Okay, thank you. So we're going to go ahead and uh, and review your uh, your your performance. Now this is just a review throughout the past few weeks. Uh, there will be follow up reviews. This is just one of the initial reviews. Uh, but the first thing I want to say is uh, is how excellent the, uh, the the performance has been. I mean it's it's a small package here. It's it's a drone that many would look like and say. Uh, that's a toy, but but you're not a toy. You've got a 1080p ultra high definition camera attached to you, and not only do you have that, but you've got the uh, the stabilization that stabilizes the video, the cushions, and the software, and uh, and a front facing camera, so you don't have uh, you don't have a gimbal hanging down. I know I know with a lot of other popular drones that gimbal hanging down, and it hasn't been a problem for me. But a lot of people are like, oh man, you know, I've I busted X number of cameras and and this, that, and the other. But but you've you've uh, presented yourself in a way to where you don't have a gimbal hanging below. So from a design perspective, I'm going to uh, I'm going to rate you an eight out of ten. Was, well, thank you so much. Hey, no problem. I mean, you you deserve it. I mean, you've got you've got a really good form factor and. Uh, and that's just one of those things that that's a rarity in drones nowadays, and that's that's greatly appreciated. So now we're going to move on to um, to build quality. We've already talked about the camera position, and that's a great uh, that's a great component. But what about overall build quality? And and I will say, for a drone that can fly indoors and outdoors, and that's something that's great is that. You can take a beating with the prop guards on or with the prop guards off. Now, if you've got the prop guards off, you may break a prop. You may break one anyway, but the build, the build quality is exceptional for such a lightweight drone. So from a build quality perspective, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give you a 7 out of 10. Well, thank you. No problem. Now, let's talk about performance. You come in two two kits. You can get the Sky Controller, or you can get the uh, the non Sky Controller version, like like you are right here. You don't you don't have a Sky Controller with you, but I think even without Sky Controller, you're great. And the reason being is that I can uh, I can easily transport you, and I don't have to worry about the weight and bulk, and that's important because. Here at Irish Guys Adventure Channel, we're all about uh, we're all about traveling and capturing the most unique environments from a unique perspective, which is inevitably a drone, a drone's point of view. So, uh, from that perspective, I really uh, I really like the size and weight. Now, the the problem that I have is the uh, there, there's a few things, there's a few minor sacrifices, and, and these aren't, these aren't uh, insults by any, by any, uh, from any point of view. These, these are, I'm simply providing this as constructive feedback. Uh, what you may want to do as you continue to evolve, the battery 
although I like the way it goes on, sometimes when you snap it in, it doesn't want to snap on the back. Now, even without it snapping on the back, you've provided this Velcro strap, and, and with that on, I've never had the battery fall off. But I think there would be an opportunity for improvement in the area of how the, uh, of how the battery attaches to your, uh, to your main frame. Well, thank you. I'll take that into consideration. Hey, I appreciate it. Uh, some other things that I may, so I'm going to have to, the way that the battery connects to you, I'm going to have to give you a, I'm going to have to give you a 5 out of 10 on that. Well, no problem. Yeah, yeah, maybe you can figure something better out. Uh, the, uh, the stability of the video, it is incredible, the quality of video, 1080p video, by the way that you can get from this drone and you don't, as I had mentioned previously, you don't have that gimbal hanging on the bottom. Now with that said, what I have encountered is that as, as I've recorded your video and I play it back, there's intermittent and I call them, I'm going to refer to them as video spasms. So like, and if you watch most any Parrot Bebop video, you've probably observed that. And I'm hoping it's something that can be fixed with a firmware update because for someone like myself, Iron Skies Adventure Channel, it's hard to, even though it was filmed in an incredible environment, it's hard to accept a video that's less than perfect. And it should be so easy to fix. I mean, it's those intermittent, you know, pops and snaps and flashes that make otherwise good video not watchable for the masses and I hate to say that but for the video quality man I'm going to have to give you a uh, I'm going to have to give you a 3 out of 10 so I hope you can get that fixed and, and if, if there's a firmware update you can do if there's anything I can do to help you know let me know because we really need to work through that that's that's a huge pain point well I appreciate that and I'll, I'll see what I can do with my firmware I appreciate that. So hopefully it's something simple and hopefully work through that. I, I would see the, uh, the, what I'll refer to as video spasms as the most severe pain point at this point in time. And hope, hopefully it's the most easily correctable pain point as well. So let's move on to some other, uh, some other things. I love the size and weight, as I've mentioned previously. The size and weight is great optimal size for uh, traveling and capturing most any environment. What needs to be an option is a controller. I, I love using a smartphone, but there needs to be a device and it doesn't need to be as big as a sky controller. Sky controller looks cool, sky controller is, is neat to use, but when you're looking at it from a travel perspective, would one rather have a big drone and a small controller or a small drone and a big controller in the scheme of things it all balances out what I would like to see is a small drone which we have here a small and capable drone and a small controller maybe there's some sort of device that you can dream up that will work in conjunction with a smartphone such as the iPhone 6 Plus, or whatever smartphone, Android, iPhone, it doesn't matter, that would be able to be put in that carrying case. And you can check the link within this video's description. I've got an awesome waterproof and ruggedized carrying case. But some sort of device that would extend the range as good, if not better, than sky controller range, but would add minimal amount of bulk to the person that's carrying this equipment with them. So for me to carry you, that's not a problem. But if I carry you only, I'm not going to get the range. I'm going to get whatever my iPhone 6 Plus can do, which is mediocre. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I would love to have 2,000 meters by way of my iPhone 6 Plus and some sort of other device. Maybe it's a standalone controller. Maybe it's a controller the size of uh, 
you know, of a tablet or something, you know, nothing too big, but something that produces the same, if not greater, range than the Sky Controller. So maybe you're still flying it with the Free Flight 3 touchscreen interface versus a joystick. Or maybe there's some sort of joystick that would be compatible with this smaller device. Because that's one of those things that you have right now that, that makes me not take you as seriously as I should be able to. Because small drone and big controller, it, it just doesn't do it for me. You need small drone and small controller. So if we can get through that, I think we can turn this into, a, uh, into an even better experience. With that said, I'm, I'm very satisfied with what you've presented so far. Uh, your performance has been exceptional. Uh, obviously, when what you bring to the table, you bring, uh, you bring a, a fresh look on what drones are and what drones can become. But you just need to polish up those little, uh, those little edges and, and just kind of make, uh, make things more perfect. And I like how you can pan your camera around when you're in the app. That's nice. So with that said, I really appreciate your time, and it's, it's been a pleasure, uh, pleasure getting to know you. And I hope that, uh, I hope that your team can, can work and help to, uh, help to improve upon the pain points that I mentioned within this performance review. So thank you for your time. Well, thank you. Hey, no problem. Is there anything you'd like to talk to me about? No, I think I understand completely. Okay, well, you know, be sure to tell your team because ultimately your team will need to, uh, will need to try to work through these kinks and keep me posted on your updates. I want to know how you're doing. You know, what are you doing to improve upon these areas? Well, certainly I will. Okay, well, tell your team that because we really need the fine folks at Parrot to keep not only you but myself abreast of what's being done to uh, to proactively improve upon these things. Well, I'll do that. Thank you so much. And for everyone else out there, I appreciate it. Uh, this was the performance review of the Parrot Bebop. I've had my hands on it for about a week or so now, and I I felt that it was appropriate to give that uh, to give that initial impressions performance review, and it's. It really has been a good experience, but as, as you can see within this performance review, there are areas for improvement, and I feel that it'll happen, because this form factor, I mean, look at this. Look at how small that is and how light that is. This is a huge potential game changer for the aerial video and or aerial photo recreational realm. I mean, it really is. You just need to work out those minor kinks and and share this video with others and check the link within this video's description. You can order the Parrot Bebop. I've got a case. I've got a backpack. I've got batteries. I've got all kinds of stuff there. So check the link within this video's description. By no means is this drone a slouch. It is, it's a lot of fun. You can do flips and tricks with it. Check out my other video. Check the link within this video's description. You can see how you do the flips. I mean, there's things you can do with this that add to the fun factor that make it more than just, a, um, than just an aerial camera. I mean, it's, it's a really cool, it's, it's obvious that a lot of R&D research and development went into creating this. I mean, this is, to pack this much technology in such a small form factor is an incredible feat. But with that said, as my performance review suggested, there are areas for improvement. So share this video with others. Respond to my feedback. What do you think? Have you had your hands on a Parrot Bebop? If you haven't, pick one up. Check the link within this video's description. I mean, this thing is, this thing is cool. It's one of the most, uh, uh, for 2015, I know 2015 has just hit, but 2015, uh, this is without a doubt my most entertaining toy and tool, and I call it a tool because it does have a camera built in, that I've experienced in the uh, in the calendar year 2015. So it's just a really, really good thing. And you can get it in other colors too. This is the blue one. 
I've got all the colors in the uh, link within this video description. Also, the Sky Controller bundles, if you do want to get the Sky Controller. I'm not anti-Sky Controller, but I like the portability. And that's what attracted me to Parrot Bebop, is the portability. And even if you put your, uh, your prop guard zone for indoor flight, it's still small. And since these are made out of like a high quality styrofoam type material, they're very lightweight. So, yeah, you know, let's, let's see this become, let's see this Parrot Bebop evolve into what it should be and what it can be. And hopefully it will be soon. So share this video and please take my feedback into consideration, Parrot, because this is a very cool tool. Don't think toy. I know you've got a lot of fun toys. Think of this as a tool. And how can you make this tool a tool that everyone will happily wear in their tool belt? And be sure to subscribe and share with others. YouTube.com forward slash Irix guy. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day and fly safe.